Okay, this is a test. And here we go. This is the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Gyrosphere RC. It's a good size. Much bigger than previous gyrospheres from the Jurassic World series. Um, you can fit two figures in there, which is pretty cool. It actually starts out with Owen in there. Uh, pretty good detail on him. He actually has his hand on the controller of the gyrosphere. That's pretty neat. Uh, it says easy to use RC. Got a nice picture of Owen Grady and Blue on the front with the T-Rex and uh, some other dinosaurs in the background and you have Mount Saibo uh, erupting. What's interesting about this packaging is that it doesn't actually say Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom on it, it just has the Jurassic World logo. I would have thought that they would have put that on there. Um, but they did go ahead and put the volcano in there so you know that this is for that movie. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure what to expect as far as the controls. It looks like there's just two buttons. One goes forward, the other turns. So it should be pretty interesting to see how much you can actually move this thing around easily. And uh, requires some batteries, four double A's for um, the actual uh, gyrosphere, and then it looks like two triple A's for the remote control. Also shows that this little guy here, the FNH10, is sold separately. This is uh, one of the military trucks from the movie. Looks like the uh, the good guys repurpose it and use it as like an explorer vehicle. And that looks like it has like a traditional controller with much much more uh, functionality. And just the side of the box. And there we go.